Waking up in the morning in the van has to be my favorite part of the day. There's just something so simple about it. The day is pure, nobody's tampered with it yet, the birds are happy, and it's beautiful outside. It's a fresh start for you and a fresh start for the entire world. It's that moment where you get to make the choice on what kind of energy you're going to put out in the world today. Are you going to be grumpy? Well, that's on you. Or are you going to wake up and be a positive influence on everything around you? Those are great decisions to make first thing in the morning when everyone else is still asleep. That's why I like to get up so early. I don't care if my phone says it's 3.40 a.m. My brain is like, yep, that's good enough. Let's start this day. Good morning, everybody. Turned out to be a pretty beautiful night out. It was quiet, peaceful. Oh, it's such a good morning today. Look at him, he's whining. He wants Joseph to wake up. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> hey, you tell him, buddy. You tell him. <laughs> Look how excited he is. <laughs> hey, who's that? Hey! Hey, buddy. <laughs> he was outside your door whining. He was like, come on, Joseph, wake up, buddy. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Crazy. Morning, buddy. Good morning, man. Hey, <laughs> a lot of room here in this minivan. Mm -hmm. Hey, Crazy, you made yourself right at home, I see. <laughs> hey, he was morning, buddy. He was sitting outside your door just whining, just like, hmm, mm, go on, Joseph, hurry up, get up. <laughs> Having an awning on the van rooftop storage and a ladder to access it all is probably one of the greatest additions I've added to my van in a very long time. It's completely changed my outdoor living space. It looks good and it feels good. Especially on those rainy nights when you don't want to shut the door but you still want to be outside. Oh guys this changed everything. Look how red my hands are from taking that thing down. Hey Joseph what's your outside temperature thing say? Outside temperature says it's three degrees. Starting my summer trip with a three degree <laughs> night? Come on now. Look. Makes me wish I would have put my coffee in a regular coffee cup because this stainless steel cup is cold too. Mmm. Burr. Cruzy's like waiting at the kitchen. He's like, yo man, can I have a burger and a fries and a... Uh... <laughs> this thing is amazing, by the way. It wasn't that long ago that my life was a big mess. I was broke, I had a lot of stress, and I wasn't anywhere near where I wanted to be. I watched everybody around me stay frustrated in debt and in that little cycle of life that I just didn't want to be a part of anymore. And who would have thought that moving into my van would have changed my life to be what it is today? that I've now taken my creative passions in a whole new direction. Here I am making movies, hoping to inspire somebody every day to do something great. I never thought I would be this person, because I'll tell you something, five years ago, I was not this person. Van life has given me a whole new life, a whole new outlook on everything. Just nature, the animals, the people that are around me, the friends that I have made, all because of living in my van. My life is not the same. 
all because of this metal box that I drive around in that I call my home. There isn't anything better than being in a place surrounded by so many big mountains that makes you feel so damn tiny. To me, that is such a cool feeling to know that I'm just like this big in a world like this big. <laughs> What do you say guys? A little hash browns, a little view of Lillouette. Heck yeah. Even right behind Joseph there's a nice little bridge right back there. You see van life friends I've found over the years are a whole different breed of person. They're always more positive, they're more of a free thinker, and very seldom are they grumpy. I think it's because we live with a lot less stress in our worlds. A lot of my old friends, well they'd be grumpy every day because they hated their damn job and they hated waking up in the mornings. We found ourselves a nice little camp spot here for tonight. Tonight's Joseph's last night with us. He's taken off back into Vancouver tomorrow. So we pulled up here by this nice little lake and we're just going to camp out here for tonight. It's called Marble Canyon Campground. It was $18 per night. This is my tequila collection in my van. We've got a bottle of Dubel, which is damn beautiful. Thank you. A bottle of Cabo Wabo. You can come take a look. And some Don Julio. And yeah, full time. Just when we're out here enjoying the nice sunshine, it's about to pop behind that tiny, well, giant, huge. Please don't do this to us. Pretty, pretty please. All right, looking for a little bit of hummus. <laughs> yeah. It's windy, cloudy, and cold. How does it go from being so hot that I had to spray sunblock on and the tequila came out, the Mexican music started, and then boom, the cloud rolled over. Now it feels like we're on a really crappy spring day. Whoa, the water. pretty mellow day today I haven't really done a whole lot sat outside in the sunshine and just soaked in all the rays that I can <laughs> it's hard to make a video when you're just sitting around stuffing your face with food and oh I don't know where Joe's going he's got his backpack on well, I think he might be going for a oh he's got his fishing rod here comes the great outdoorsman I'm going back to drink a beer and Mr. Outdoorsman's you know Ready to go. A nice perk I realized today is that now I have a place to clip crews to because when you're in a place like this that require your dogs to be on leash and now I can just chain them up here whether I'm using this short one because he's right there with me under the table or I'm using my super long like 25 foot one. It's nice to have somewhere actually a good place to clip it because before I was clipping it on here which required my doors to be open all the time. 
having that super convenient all right guys since joseph's out there keeping himself busy catching a little fish out of that little lake um i thought we would just sit here and talk about my summer travels um last year when i traveled we did a lot of kilometers in a short amount of time and this year um, I'm just gonna wander. I'm gonna take my time and move a tiny bit every day with no destination in mind. On that note, I am not gonna be doing any meetups whatsoever on this summer trip. I wanna remove the busyness out of my summer travel. So there will be no meetups at all this year. Sorry guys. Um, and plus when it comes to all this COVID stuff, I don't know if I can actually have one. Um, so we're just not going to do them. Just hear me okay? Let's get a little windy outside. Hi, Joseph. Did you catch a fish? Yeah. Joseph went fishing for how long was that? Like two minutes? Yeah, two minutes. <laughs> About three casts. <laughs> I used to have a fishing rod. If you didn't know, I bought a fishing rod from my van. And that's how I fished. I threw my cast out three or four times somewhere. Ah, forget it. Went back in the van. Next time, well, I cast out a few more times at another place, threw it back in my van. And I probably did that about four, maybe five times before I'm like, forget it, fishing ain't for me, I'm out. <laughs> 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 like, you know what I mean? It doesn't take much for you to realize this is not for me, right? If you enjoyed the cast, you would still be out there. That's right. It's just kind What of are you windy. doing here? Windy and cloudy and cold and... It's because I said I was going to drink beer, wasn't it? Yeah, and I still had half a can of beer up here, so... <laughs> so you went down there, casted once, and all you could think about was that beer. Anyway, you guys, thanks for watching. That's it, eh? Say bye, bye, Joseph! See you later, guys. <laughs> Cheers. All right. Mine's empty. <sighs> You're not supposed to right. cheer somebody with an empty can. Lit up. All right, music on, baby. Party time. <laughs> it's a long, dragged out ending. See up there? That's my little bow speaker. And it's great because I can move it above the door if I'm hanging out over there or back here when I'm hanging out back here. This works. Okay, guys. I can hear someone over there going, shut the f If you're the kind of person that wakes up grumpy in the morning, because you have negative situations or a job you don't like or life's just not going your way. You gotta learn to shrug things off, push the negativity away from you, focus on yourself and just not give up.